All eyes, of course, in the January 6th hearing yesterday. That is our top story this morning. That explosive testimony on Capitol Hill from Cassidy Hutchinson, the former aide to Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Her words now reverberating across the country. She said under oath President Donald Trump raged after his January 6th speech, aggressively trying to force his way to join rioters at the U.S. Capitol and allegedly taking aim at his own lead Secret Service agent Bobby Engel inside the presidential SUV. As the president had gotten into the vehicle with Bobby, he thought that they were going up to the Capitol. And when Bobby had relayed to him, we're not, we don't have the assets to do it. It's not secure. We're going back to the West Wing. The president had very strong, a very angry response to that. Um, Tony described him as being irate. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. President Trump disputing that account. Uh, Secret Service weighing in this morning as well. We'll have that just ahead. But it was one of just many bombshells revealed during those hearings yesterday, among the others. Hutchinson claiming that the president insisted checkpoints at his rally that day be removed so that armed supporters could attend. And he said, according to the testimony, they're not here to hurt me. When told that the rioters had reached the Capitol, Meadows said Trump doesn't want to do anything. That, according to Hutchison, Meadows' top aide. And and the other allegation that Trump believed his own vice president, Mike Pence, quote, deserves to be hung. We've got it all covered. We'll start with NBC's Peter Alexander in Washington. Peter, good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you. There is new fallout after that dramatic testimony from Cassidy Hutchinson, the first White House official to testify publicly. Perhaps her biggest revelation that former President Trump wanted to go to the Capitol on January 6th, pressuring his own Secret Service detail to let him join that crowd of his supporters, some of whom he knew were armed. In person and under oath, Cassidy Hutchinson, a trusted aide of former Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, testified Tuesday that before his speech on January 6th, Mr. Trump knew about the potential for violence at the Capitol, but was unfazed, even after learning some of his supporters were armed and would not get through security. I overheard the president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't even care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. But another explosive moment now being disputed by some close to the Secret Service. After those allegations from Hutchinson that Mr. Trump, furious he was not being driven to the Capitol, tried to grab the steering wheel and lunge toward his lead agent, Bobby Engel. A source close to the Secret Service tells NBC News both Engel and the SUV driver are prepared to testify under oath, disputing that Mr. Trump ever assaulted any agent or tried to grab the wheel. Hutchinson's lawyer says she testified under oath recounting what she was told and that those with knowledge of that episode should do the same. Hutchinson says she first heard of plans for President Trump to make an unannounced trip to the Capitol from Rudy Giuliani days before January 6th. Plans, she says, alarmed White House counsel Pat Cipollone. Mr. Cipollone said something to the effect of, please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol, Cassidy. Keep in touch with me. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. Hutchinson also recounted a conversation between White House counsel Pat Cipollone and Meadows as the rioters advanced on the Capitol, some chanting, hang Mike Pence. Cipollone saying the president needed to take action. Mark had responded something to the effect of, you heard him, Pat. He thinks Mike deserves it. He doesn't think they're doing anything wrong. Hutchinson also said she witnessed evidence of the president's temper multiple times, including damage in the president's dining room after Attorney General William Barr's declaration that there was no widespread voter fraud. I first noticed there was ketchup dripping down the wall and there's a shattered porcelain plate on the floor. Mr. Trump unloaded a series of attacks directed at Hutchinson on his social media site, saying he barely knew Hutchinson, 
denying her account of that altercation with the Secret Service. And about his January 6th rally saying, quote, I didn't want or request that we make room for people with guns to watch my speech. Who would ever want that? And what may have been one of the most significant moments from a legal standpoint, the committee's top Republican, Liz Cheney, closed the hearing with accusations of witness tampering, which she called a serious concern, efforts that Cheney said from those close to the former President Trump were to pressure witnesses to give false testimony through an intimidation campaign. She shared how one witness described calls they've received, basically saying that Mr. Trump knows you're loyal and you're going to do the right thing in your deposition, Savannah. All right, Peter. You talked about the Secret Service agents who apparently are willing to testify under oath. We'll see if the committee takes them up on that offer. There are also calls for the White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, to come and testify, as this young lady, um, Cassidy Hutchinson, did. What, where does that stand? Yeah, that's right. The committee certainly wants to hear from Cipollone. Just this morning, we heard from Liz Cheney. She tweeted repeating her call for him to testify on the record about his significant concerns, she says, regarding Mr. Trump's activities on the 6th of January. At this point, there's still no indication that's going to happen. We should say that we're told Cipollone has been cooperating. And overnight, the committee's chairman, Benny Thompson, the top Democrat there, said that they're going to keep pursuing Cipollone even for a new off-the-record, or excuse me, off-camera interview. But they they do want to hear from anyone with new information, Savannah. Well, a lot of folks were listening to this testimony yesterday and wondering whether this could lead to criminal charges. I should mention, you know, Hutchison's testimony, while compelling, would likely not be admissible in a court of law. It's hearsay. Uh, how does that play into whether or not this ultimately does lead to any kind of criminal charge against anybody? Yeah, Savannah, you know this best. Legal experts agree that some of her testimony would be admissible, some would not be, and court witnesses are generally allowed to testify to what they saw or what they heard firsthand, not things that you hear from other people. Prosecutors, obviously, they rely on lots of witnesses to build, to, to corroborate a case. Hutchinson is just one witness, so no case would rise or fall on her testimony alone. But the bottom line here is it still remains an open question whether the Justice Department is going to bring any indictments against Against the former president or any of those inside his inner circle. We heard from Mr. Trump's former attorney general, Bill Barr, by the way. He said that yesterday's hearing gave investigators, quote, a lot to chew on. Savannah. Quite an afternoon on Capitol Hill, Peter. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.